Hello, how are you doing? I really hope you've had a lovely summer and that you're ready for some theatre recommendations. I went to London to see some shows, as I always do, and there were a couple of really standout ones that I want to talk about. So let's delve straight into it. The brilliant director Robert Icke has done his last show as associate director at the Almeida. It is called The Doctor. And let me tell you, this is a work of brilliance. Uh, I am a big fan of most of his shows. This one was probably amongst my favorites. It is a rewriting of a play from 1912. Uh, the original was called Professor Bernhardi by uh, Arthur Schnitzler, the Aust Austrian uh, writer. But this is adapted into modern day, uh, quite loosely, I believe. Robert Icke changed the main character into a woman. She's played by Juliet Stevenson, which is someone who uh, he uh, collaborated with on multiple occasions. The play is quite long and it's one of those where you have to uh, put some energy in and kind of listen, but it is incredibly intense. Uh, the issues are very current and very interesting. It, it poses this moral dilemma. I don't really want to describe the specifics, but I can tell you it is theatre that really makes you think, which I uh, always love. And yeah, it's just in terms of the ideas, in terms of the acting, it is utterly gripping. When I was leaving the theatre, my shoulders were hurting just because of, uh, I was like living that intense situation with the pr protagonist. It was a real experience. The next one might be a bit more controversial, it might not be for everyone, but I still quite enjoyed Peter Gint at the National Theatre at the Olivier. This is also an adaptation, this time uh, of Henrik Ibsen's Per Gint, and it is adapted by David Hare. He slots in a lot of political references, it's uh, again set in the present. It is a bit of a reduction of the original play in a way, because the original play is written in verse and has um, a lot of poetry to it, while this is very profane. Everything is said quite bluntly and everything is overly clear. It is also a lot of fun, there is a lot of humour in it, so that's why I had a really lovely evening and I would actually recommend this show, but um, you have to be aware, if you know the original, um, you might find some aspects of it missing. Per Gint is played here by James McArdle, who's a brilliant Scottish actor. I thoroughly enjoyed his performance and I also enjoyed the fact that uh, most of the play was actually set in Scotland, so there was a lot of Scottish accent which I'm particularly fond of. What I didn't necessarily agree with were some directorial choices. I had some like specific minor issues. I wasn't overly keen on the set and the visual side of it, but the actors and the humour that's in it still made this a very positive experience. And one more play where I was slightly on the fence was Appropriate by Brendan Jacobs Jenkins at the Donma Theatre. Uh, but again, it was very well acted, well done. And uh, I would recommend this to people who are interested in family dramas. I personally am usually not. I like more of a mm, political view at the grander scheme of things. And while this play touches on some very important topics in American history, it shows the characters not dealing with those issues and as a result the play itself isn't really dealing with them. Purely by comparison to uh, this author's other play, um, Gloria, that I've seen at Hampstead Theatre a couple of years ago. I would say this was a bit more predictable. 
um, but uh, maybe I went into it with wrong expectations. As I say, I still recommend it if you like a very skillfully written, well-acted family drama. All of these plays that I was mentioning are on uh, until the end of September or beginning of October. So if you're in London or if you're planning a trip, you might be able to catch them. Please do, especially the doctor. That's it from me today and I will see you next time. Bye!